Hi there guys, welcome back into another session, 8am London time here. I hope everyone's having a brilliant week and I hope it continues. Another record breaking week for the ETF guys. Uh, pretty much a green market as we move forward. Crypto and risk assets. Uh, ETF guys really slurping up some volume. And uh, supply in general to be honest, aren't they? Um, IBIT doing another record breaking week. Billion dollar volume, I think it was on the 12th, um, actually producing about 800 million uh, on the 12th as well, which is absolutely phenomenal stuff going on. Um, really, really loving this, aren't they? And actually no signs of it stopping at the minute. So yeah, just something to be aware of. We're going to dive into some, uh, some Bitcoin data, some meme data, some DEX data, and then we're going to jump into the TRDR console and have a look at some lower time frame order flow. But yeah, really, really good flows still coming from the ETF boys and girls. Absolute record numbers coming in. Long may it continue. Um, it's a funny one really, isn't it? Because it can almost give you a little bit of firmer as we are at all time highs, especially when you're seeing diminishing supply as we are doing now, um, just on the old blockchain.com, the classic website. Uh, yeah, see stuff like this, it can give you firmer. Hope everyone's enjoying their spot portfolios from lower. Open interest is getting a little bit hot as we get up here. To be expected, to be honest, it's just a very jubilant market, isn't it? But yeah, interesting charts here. Keep an eye on these because I do I do like going back to the old uh, the old data metrics uh, every now and again as we as we hit these all time highs. There's some good charts out there to keep you instead. But yeah, it's very very interesting, especially when you know that these guys are absolutely slurping up all the supply micro strategy. Um, I, I believe I just saw another tweet just really, really recently. It might have been last night in the Asian session or towards the end of the US close, but they're just doing another offering, micro strategy again, to buy more Bitcoin. I believe their average price now stands at about 31, 32,000. I could be wrong there, but I believe it's that that's their ad, average buy-in. So obviously well, well up in profit at the minute, aren't they? Uh, so Bitcoin leading the way, Bitcoin wins, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, funny one, um, jumping into some, you know, as, as, as the timeline quietens off a little bit, which I often find it does in the socials, in the telegram, the discord, and even on Twitter, I don't mind that to be honest. And I think it's to be expected when you have a strong trending market on the bigger assets like Bitcoin. I think that's just natural, you know, there's not a lot to do. It's not range and it's not pulling back to lows. It's moving up. It's trending. It's trending. Well, nothing to see, you know, um, it's just going to do that. But yeah, this this was interesting from these guys. Is there any wonder that we're, you know, people are gambling on these meme coins and, you know, over assets when when you've got that kind of shit going on? Um, but yeah, really, really crazy stuff from them. Um, but yeah, everyone obviously on top of the deck screener at the minute. Is there any wonder that people are betting on Portnoy, you know, Joe Burdens and the like with, with what's going on in the world? And yeah, really, really funny one, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm the captain now. What I would like to show you is um, it's interesting that in all the volatility that we're getting up here, it's nice to see that actually some of these meme coins are trading very nice. Now, I know that Doge has got a bigger market cap. So it's going to trade better anyway, but the what just looking at these one hour trends, they're really, really nice. Just my trading view chart, if anyone's familiar with this here with the order blocks and the one hour 200 EMA, but really, really nice. Thing is, even stuff like WIF, look at this, just really nice, nice and orderly pullbacks to trend and away we go. Nothing to see here. You know, even on one hour charts at the minute, you have got no lower highs coming in. Um, it's just, yeah, of course the market's getting hot. Of course it is. But it's just trend continuation at the minute. All right. Even, you know, Pepe. Pepe looking really, really good. Absolutely. Just nice and orderly. 
try and avoid these big big wicks and down days if you can um, if you're trading derivatives with these hot funding rates and open interest prices just quick in and out if you can to hedge against any of your spot positions all right right looking at bitcoin very very similar here um, we did wick down to the weekly open the other day as we were i think had we just finished the live i can't remember anyway we wicked down to the weekly open created a bit of an order block didn't quite come down to that ama there but we did get a btc diamond down there all right so really really good if anyone got in there i know some guys this was one of our last btc diamonds back here in the 59k i know some of the trdr traders got in there then we had one again there at that 68 level which is interestingly enough just around that little previous all-time high um what to expect from now um okay so we're hanging around here a little bit um, weekly VWAP coming in down there at 71. Let's go and dive in some data on the trader console and see what we can decipher. Right, here we go then guys. TIDR console for some lower time frame data. What we can see now is if you compare this to the last video we did on Tuesday, the order blocks to the downside were very very um chopped up and you get that because a lot of people are getting filled to be honest you can see a btc diamond there 67 i believe i missed that one on the the other chart and then we got one down there at 59 but here we are now the last btc diamond we got which is obviously your spot and perps confluence alert okay perps ratios 40 spot ratios um 70 okay so btc diamond there that was at 5 15 pm my time back on the 12th and a nice push up and as we do move up supply is just getting eaten okay so any downside you've got these top levels coming in now and some slightly heavier order blocks coming all the way down to 72 one and then you've got these obc gaps that can create your wick space again going just below 71 so that that could be quite nice for any day trade um not really too fearful of any mega mega flush down yet especially with how orderly the price action has been um you know technically you've got no lower highs on on really many time frames whatsoever um the safest bet would be to start seeing some lower highs with supply coming as your open interest and your funding's hot and then we'll go from there maybe that's time to you know sell a little bit more and, and put a bit of a chunkier hedged short position on but at the minute very very orderly price action as we can see there order blocks going all the way down some fatter order blocks now um, and order blocks on the offer side going all the way up to 75 and probably beyond as well actually but 75 and 80k notably nice key round number area all right let's just go and have a look at what the other exchanges are doing so yeah um TUSD heavily buying there I don't think those guys do much volume at the minute to be honest um but yes um we've got uh, resting limits at 75 and then your next ones are basically 80k um and then notably your usdt resting limit bids are filling all the way down here down to 68 um now when we got this wick the other day you basically this was your 59k diamond you've just basically got high lows high lows high lows and um you're getting diamonds on those now supply is getting hit you've got a lot of group spot sell offers going on here and you did have some btc diamond sells but you're in a strong trending market look at how good your btc diamonds to the upside uh, are giving you really really good risk reward trades okay so that's just the binance chart quick flick through the rest of the obd okay i don't think uh bitfinex usdt uh, and usd got many fills down here at all to be honest but they are still they are still prepared to bid and they've got these 67k levels for any deeper flush uh but just bearing in mind our last strong bid was there at just over 68 okay usdt not much to see there bit stamp a little bit messy coinbase pro still they've still been doing some selling up here and again they're defending 75k but they've got a nice chunky level there at 72 for um you are at all-time highs obviously if you're trading derivatives don't just check take um, a resting limit order like that and say right i'm gonna bid this next drop down and, and use that as my stop loss there these guys still don't do as much volume as um say binance do okay that could easily fill and then fail and go lower 
general aggregated depth not too bad middling a little bit but yeah to be expected at these all-time highs to be honest 400 mil a good aggregated depth now i would say would be well over six seven hundred million billion to the top side like we saw at that 38k all right quick flick through the other exchanges before we go and have a look at volume and open interest kraken yeah a little bit of selling here but it's almost like yeah don't, don't mind seeing that at all to be honest but then look at this they've just absolutely shed load of bid to the downside as well that they're um they're hoping to get a fill on and again defensive 68k for any bigger flush in open interest would be really really nice q coin very very similar 68.5 so it's nice to see at spot levels like i said on the live like i said on the video the other day spot markets are prepared to still bid this if you get any drops lower um if you were in an absolute kind of macro top um you wouldn't be seeing that you just it sounds obvious but you just see a, a shitload more supply at the top and these guys you know you wouldn't have this following price up whatsoever okay right binance perps um bullish af to be honest uh trending trending bid here again people prepared to bid this up if we come any lower weekly up and there we can see we just wicked onto the weekly up and there at 69 as, as we've had marked and and yeah it's just showing the alert there because it was on binance perps and binance spot really really nice there really really nice okay uh, let's have a look at volume quickly volume coming off slightly to be expected the only thing i would look out for is as you can see back here what you had especially at that diamond there when that one was at 68 is basically as the volume came down those wicks down absolutely flushed your open interest and you can see how the funding green came down a little bit as well um, so funding very very high here um, I've not I'm not going to pay too much attention to the LS ratio at the minute to be honest um, but if you were to get any downside flush again with a quick wick keep an eye out for the BTC diamonds again maybe you get another one before we go and strike 8k or something like that and yeah just watch for that little flushing open interest as well all right that'd be really really nice that's just so if you, if you do come down we could just mark it flow up here um, but if you do come down again watch for a little flushing open interest and um, watch for the funding to come down a little bit i don't think funding is going to come down too much here you know you're not going to get your 0.01s or anything like that in this kind of in these kind of hyperbolic market conditions but yeah just something to keep an eye on all right guys what we'll do is we're going to be live at the us session again uh, let's hope some volatility there so we can have some price action uh, posted a few charts in the trdr discord trading section the other day it's just interesting to see uh, we won't dive into them right now but it's interesting to see that sol avax trying to push up um link pushed up the other week rune already pushed up the other week it's like you've got these trend consolidation short range trend continuation rune and link did that the other week obviously bitcoin's doing its own thing is absolutely being an absolute beast but it looks like avax and sol are pushing up now don't chase them up don't, don't buy green candles not advice obviously but just keep an eye on those and then i'm i'm keeping an eye on some of our altcoins like tier engine and the like do they follow that rotation on you know um that's just what i'm wondering we can look a little bit deeper into that at like on the live session uh at the us open or just one hour after the us open i have to say that forgot about daylight savings time the other day okay uh so yeah quick one today really share the video or drop it in the socials give it a like and we'll see you at the uh, us session have a great day guys cheers speak soon it's a wazzy, it's a woozy, it's a fairy dust.